Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be planting some cool season vegetables. I had uh, cool season vegetables uh, in this garden in the fall, and then with some severe cold uh, midwinter, uh, they got knocked back. And so this is a second round that I do uh, every year before I put my summer vegetables in. So sometime between mid-February and uh, mid-March, uh, I add some broccoli, lettuce, beets, and several other things. They'll still be in here um, when my frost uh, free date uh, happens around April 15th or so. And I'll just start planting my tomatoes and peppers and other things into this space uh, with them. And uh, then it'll get hot and these things will burn off and uh, the other things will take over. Uh, if you're thinking about doing some cool season vegetables, if you're in the South like I am, I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B, you probably need to do them from plants at this point. Um, I started these in the house uh, uh, several weeks ago, and uh, uh, I think it would be a little too late to do them from seed uh, in the in the South. Uh, if you're, and I've moved on to uh, doing my uh, summer vegetables at this point, um, I'm starting peppers from seed, and soon I'll start tomatoes and my other uh, summer vegetables. But here's some uh, uh, broccoli and uh, a, a red uh, leaf lettuce here, and I've got four trays to put in. I probably don't have quite enough uh, space for all of this. I may uh, take some. Uh, and uh, give them to some neighbors as well. But uh, if you've followed the channel um, last week, I uh, came in here and put down a layer of compost, maybe two weeks ago, and I wanted to actually get these in a little bit earlier. I usually aim for more like mid-February, but uh, and it hasn't been temperatures that slowed it down. It was actual rain. It's just rained and rained and rained. It's finally dried out enough in here uh, to get these in. But this has a new layer of compost down uh, for 2021, and I've actually already fertilized it uh, as well. I just use some plant tone. You can use some garden tone or whatever, but that fertilizer will get mixed in uh, as these greens go in the ground. So let's get started. So there was a very sped up version of putting in some red leaf lettuce and some broccoli and some butter crunch lettuce and some more broccoli and some kohlrabi and a, a little more butter crunch lettuce as well. And then I've got a mix um, section over here that's got some kale and uh, Swiss chard and uh, other, mixed, uh, other mixed greens uh, in that section over there. I got a few things uh, left over. I'm going. I have some pots on my front porch, so the next video you see from the vegetable garden will be con uh, container planting uh, broccoli and uh, some uh, some of the lettuce. And then I've got some lettuce um, that I'm just going to give away to uh, neighbors as well because uh, 200 plants is a little bit uh, much. The next thing you saw here was I took the uh, uh, these hoops. Uh, I bent these hoops, uh, they're the top of a chain link fence, like just back there behind it. It's the, it's the same as, as that. I've got a, a hoop bender. Um, I've got a video on my channel on how to make these hoops. And then I just have a single piece going across the top right there, uh, connecting to some cattle fence here that I use for my climbing uh, vegetables, tomatoes and beans and whatever over here. But it's very sturdy. And then um, I've got a seven foot tall deer fence here. It's actually doubled over, so it's only three and a half feet tall, but I connect it all the way around. This is just rabbit protection. Um, rabbits like this lettuce uh, more than we do even, so uh, um, I have to put something around here to protect from the, uh, from the rabbits, but 
Uh, there you go, quick and easy. I basically just planted lettuce and compost. I started them, you know, six weeks ago. Again, at this point, I think you'd probably just go and buy plants. Uh, but uh, in the next week, I've got to get my potatoes planted. Uh, I've got, um, I'm going to be container planting some broccoli and some lettuce. I've got to get my uh, peppers uh, seed started and a few other things uh, seeded in the house. So uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and uh, I'll show you those things as well. Thanks for watching.